welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be Hopalong Cassidy. The original air date is January 6, 1951, and the title is The Case of the Last Word. Let's get into it, and I hope you enjoy. It's Hopalong Cassidy. <laughs> With action and suspense, out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The Ring of the Silver Spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hopalong Cassidy. This famous hero thrills his 60 million fans with action and dangerous adventure. In the role of Hopalong Cassidy is the popular star of the motion picture series, William Boyd. And now, another exciting story of the early West. Well, Hoppy, what about our story? California and I were in a little cow town called Trail Center. We had just unsaddled our horses at the stable and were walking leisurely toward the two-story frame building that passed for a hotel. It had been a long ride from the bar 20, 100 miles to the east and our throats were parched with alkali dust. California was unhappy with the situation. Hoppy, what we doing way over here? We got better dust than this back at the bar 20. (laughs) I know, California, but we've got to have provisions. What's the matter with Tamarack? It's a sight closer than this place. A man has to move around once in a while. He gets stale if he doesn't. Hoppy, you got something up your sleeve. Maybe. I don't know yet. Looks like somebody knows you, Oh, it's good to see you, Hoppy. What are you doing over this stretch of stage, Bryce? Hello, Andrew. We came over to buy provisions. This is Andrew Fillmore, California, one of the finest men who ever came west. Howdy, Glad Fillmore. You, California. How are things going with you, Andrew? Oh, not so good lately, Hoppy. What's the trouble? Oh, well, there's been a series of bank robberies in these parts. All of us little ranchers, Bud and I have cleaned out. That's so? Yes. Yeah. Seems to me I heard something about it over my section. I know it. I know it. <laughs> you knew what, California? I know there wasn't no provision buying trip. Well, what are we doing then? Uh, your old hankering for chasing trouble get the bastards off you. That's what, Poppy. Does he mean that you're going Just to... Just simmer down, Andrew. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh, God. Sure, a man can take care of it if it comes your way. Right now, I'd like some sarsaparilla coming my way. My throat's kind of dry. No, there's a sensible idea. Now, bye. What's that? Hoppy, look. Coming out of the bank. Yeah, two masked men. Uh oh, I'm getting me some cover. Not yet, they're not. What are you going to do, Hoppy? Bring them down if I can. You've got the one on the bay. Wait a minute. The pinnacle's getting out of range. Oh, I missed him. Well, come on. This is going to tell us who's been robbing our bank lately. Sorry, I missed the other one. No use having any more killing than necessary. You get that mask off of that dead one, we'll know who the gang is. Here. Uh, now, get the bandana off his face. Now, uh, wait a minute. There. Uh-oh. Oh, do you know him, Andrew? Yeah, I know him. Who is he? My daughter was right after all. What did you say? That there's Willie Cranbaugh. Who is Willie Cranball? Oh, he's the kid brother of Bart Cranball, biggest cattle man this side of the river. What does that prove? Unfortunately, nothing, Hoppy. Willie didn't need no money. His brother's got enough for the whole county. Probably out on a lark and got himself killed. You really believe that, Andrew? Well, I don't know what to believe. But, Hoppy, you've got trouble now. How so? Bart Cranball. He's a vengeful man. He's a powerful man. He won't let this pass. Andrew, this man was robbing a bank, and that calls for direct action. As far as I'm concerned, it's a job for the sheriff now. And if Bart Cranball wants to settle the score, I'll be right over there at the hotel. The body of the dead bank robber is circled with curious townsfolk. Hoppy and California have nothing more to do, so they push their way through the awestruck crowd to the hotel. They're registering for a room when the sheriff, a big man with a wall eye and a chin like a badger, comes swaggering up to them. 
Your name Cassidy? That's right. I'm the sheriff of this here township. So I gather. Huh? <laughs> That's a big badge you're wearing. Now, look here, don't This you... is my partner, California Carlson. We're from the bar 20, 100 miles to the east. Howdy. Uh, howdy. Cassidy, we don't like strangers coming in here and shooting up our folks. Young Cranbaum was robbing the bank. Well, that may be, but it's my job to see the justice done around here, not yours. You weren't around, Sheriff. Well, that don't make no difference. I would have taken out after him, and I would have brought him back, alive. Like you did the boys who stuck up the banks and stole the junction, Saltwater Bend, and Harrison Flats? Well, they got away. But we'll get them yet. How do you know Willie Cranbaugh didn't pull those stick-ups, too? Are you trying to tell me how to do my job? Not at all, Sheriff. Well, let me give you a friendly warning. Mark Cranbaugh ain't no man to take things light. He's going to be mad when he finds out you shot his brother. Since we're just visitors here in Trail Center, we can expect your protection if it's needed, can't we, Sheriff? Uh, well, sure. But if I was you, I'd get out of town. And right soon. Advice is something you can act on two ways, Sheriff. You can take it, or you can leave it. But I'll remember what you said. Come on, California, let's wash off some of the dust. Nothing like a thick steak to put a man to rights inside. And a store-bought bed to put your head on afterwards. Yes, sir. This is comfort, sir. We ought to come into town more often, Harvey. Seems like I always get into trouble when I do. Oh, that kid had it coming to him this afternoon, Hoppy. He'd have got you first if he could. Yeah. Well, let's turn and get some sleep. We're going to need it on the trail tomorrow. Uh, we're going back tomorrow? Sure. Shucks. I never have no luck. Well, good night, Hoppy. <laughs> Aren't you even going to take your boots off, California? Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. What do you want to go back today for, Hoppy? Uh, we won't get a chance to eat like this again for uh, maybe six months. You've already plowed through two orders of ham and eggs and potatoes, California. No, that ain't nothing. I'm going to have some more of them for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to look like a steer at shipping time. Are you hop along, Cassidy? Huh? Yeah. And you'd be Bart Cranball. I got a little score to settle with you, Cassidy. I'm sorry about your brother, Granbo. Being sorry isn't enough. I'm going to have you and this whiskered specimen you call your partner run out of town on a rail. What for? Let's say for taking the law into your own hands. I might sue you for that, Granbo. <laughs> You're lucky I don't feel like shooting you. You're wearing a gun? Would you care to reach for it? I don't operate that way, Cassidy. I get what I want without shooting well, looks like we have more company, California. Yeah. <clears throat> Morning, Sheriff. Something on your mind? Is your glove, Cassidy? Glove? Let me see. Yeah. Then I'm putting you and your partner under arrest. And what's the charge? Murder. Murder? Who? The bank guard was shot last night. This glove was found by his body. I see. What made you think this might be my glove, Sheriff? Why, it's just like the ones I saw you wearing yesterday. I put two and two together. Mighty good detective work. It so happens I left that glove with its mate in my blanket roll down at the stable. Yeah, that's what you say. I say you sneaked out of your room in the hotel last night, shot the guard, and tried to rob the bank. Well, Cassidy, that detective work isn't so good. Neither California nor I left our room last night. Oh, Hoppy, we... And if you gentlemen will come to the room with us, I'll prove it. Looks as if I won't have to run you out of town on a rail. You've got yourself set for a necktie party on your own hook. Like I said, I can prove we never left that hotel room. All right, Cassidy. I don't know what your game is, but we'll go along. Sheriff? Uh-uh. Oh, sure. I knew you'd want to see the law was uh, upheld. Come along, gentlemen. All 
right, Cranball. Sheriff, put up your hand. What? Hey, what the... <laughs> I thought you'd try something like this. You know, of course, we'll string you up when we catch you. I know what I'm doing. California, get the horses and bring them around back. Hurry. Yeah, Hoppy, sure, sure. Just make yourselves comfortable, gentlemen, but don't reach for your gun. You can't do this. I'm the sheriff. You aren't as smart as I thought you were, Cassidy. You're proving yourself guilty of murder. Maybe. Now, turn around. I'm going to tie a few knots with a rope while I do some unraveling in my mind. Yeah? It's me, California. Come on in. The horses are out back, Hoppy. You sure you know what you're doing? I'll tell you later. Right now, let's get out of here. You're going to leave them all dressed up and gag like that? Sure, they'll get out open an hour or so. At that time, we'll be long gone. Let's go. Andrew Fillmore, but I haven't got the time to talk to him. Where are we going, Hoppy? Out there, California. Just keep right. Let's go, Topper. Ah, pull up in that draw over there, California. Sure, Hoppy, sure. Uh, it's about time we took a breather. When are you going to tell me what this is all about? After I do some figuring. Right now, I don't like being railroaded out of town. Seems to me you did that for us. No, I just beat them to it. You know, California, I don't think we were wanted in Trail Center. That's all right with me. Most people get thanked for stopping a bank robbery. We're going to stick around and see why we're different. When we go back to that town, they'll give us a plot of ground six feet deep. We aren't going back to town. Huh? Then uh, what are we going to do? We're going to sit and talk to the rattlesnakes till the sun goes down. And do some thinking. Bart Cranbaugh sure got himself a big spread here, Hoppy. Yeah. We must have covered two miles since we left the horses. Let's stop a minute. The moon's a little too bright to go walking along like we own the place. What? What you looking for, Hoppy? First, I want to get the lay of the land. That's the corral down to our left, isn't it? Yeah, and that's the ranch house in the knoll, straight ahead. I can see the chimney. Not a light on the place. Reckon the boys ain't back from town yet. It's uh, Sunday night, you know. Listen. Somebody's coming on fast. Get down, California. I am down. Poppy, that was Bart Cranbo. <laughs> it wasn't Billy the Kid. Look, he's gone right to the ranch house. Yeah. Are we uh, gonna jump him? Maybe. First, we've got to know how many we're up against. What? Let's check the corral for horses. What's that gonna prove? There aren't any horses. That's a pretty fair indication. Cranbaugh's alone. Uh-oh. Uh, sure, sure. You set for the left, and I'll take the right. I'll meet you on the side nearest the house. I got your hobby. And be careful. Put up your hands. What? Quick. Yes, sir. Come closer. Easy now. I've got some questions I want to ask you. Hey, Let, oh. Drop it, fella. Drop it, Ed. Good work, California. Now drag him out here in the moonlight. Oh. Oh. Come on. You. Oh. Everybody wears a mask in this part of the country. You have to take it off, Poppy. This is triggers as X as a mountain lion. All right, California. Uh, hang on. Now, out. What's the matter? He just bit me. Uh, hurry up, Hoppy. There. That does it. Oh, let me go. Let me go. Well, I'll be... California, you heard the lady. Let her go. (laughs) 
Hoppy in California have been reconnoitering the Bart Cranball layout when Hoppy is ordered to put up his hand. California jumps the gunman from behind, but he turns out to be an active young lady. <laughs> I've never fought with a lady before in California. What do I do now? It wasn't you, it was me. Darn near licked me too. Better find out who she is. Oh, sure. Nearly forgot my manners. Miss, my name's Hopalong Cassidy, and this is my partner, California Carlson. What? Hopalong Cassidy? Well, I thought you'd been run out of town. You know me, huh? Well, I'm Julie Fillmore, Andrew Fillmore's daughter. Well, pleased to meet you, Julie. But what are you doing on Cranball's ranch toting a gun? I thought you were Bart Cranball. Why did you want to jump in for? Because I know he's been behind those bank robberies that cleaned out my father and all the other small ranchers. What makes you so sure? Well, I just know that thing. A woman's intuition. Oh, I see. If it hadn't been for you, I might have had my proof by now. But what have I done? You killed Willie Granville. He was robbing a bank. Besides, I don't see Let what... Let me tell you. I'd known Willie Granville practically all my life. He was weak, and he'd do anything his brother told him. I got to figuring if I could get next to Willie and make him talk, he'd incriminate his brother Bart. I was building him up easy when you came along and killed him. We should have gotten together sooner. All I can do now is try to force the truth out of Bart at gunpoint. We're in this too, Julie. Well, I didn't expect any help from you after Dad told me you tied up the sheriff and Bart and skipped town. Did your Dad know you are doing this? Oh, no, he'd stop me if he knew. Julie, there's more than one way to catch a gopher. Besides, California and I have to clear our names. You want to join forces? Sure, but what can you do? Even Dad would have to help string you up if you went back to town. Did they send a posse after us? Why, why, no. The sheriff said you'd left the county. <laughs> I thought so. Does that mean something to you? It means we played right into their hands by outlawing ourselves from Trail Center. What are you going to do? Cranball's up at the ranch house right now, alone. Yes, I know. I was hiding by the gate when he came in. We'll take care of things now. You ride into town and tell the sheriff you saw California and me headed out this way. And you overheard me say I had proof of who killed the bank guard. Do you? Ha <laughs> no. Well, then what? You'll see when the time comes. Well, shall I come back after I talk to the sheriff? That won't be necessary. We'll handle it from now on. All right. I'll wait for you at the hotel. Now ride, Julie, and make it as fast as you can. <laughs> Evening, Sheriff. Well, evening, Miss Fillmore. Uh, kind of late, ain't you? I just saw something important. What's that? Hop along Cassidy in California, riding toward Granboy's ranch. What? Are you sure? I not only saw them, I heard them. What'd they say? Well, Cassidy said he had proof who killed the bank guard. But he did. I'm only telling you what I heard. Well, he's a dangerous man. I'll have to get a posse together and go after him right away. Why didn't you do it earlier today? He, well, he wouldn't dare show his face after tying me and Bart up. He knows we'd hang him. Oh, I hope you catch him, Sheriff. You leave it to me, Miss Fillmore. That hombre won't cause no more trouble around here. Oh, that's the spirit, Sheriff. You know, we need more men like you in public office. Well, I guess I'll get on home. Good night, Miss Fillmore. Good night, Sheriff. Rand, come in here. What's trouble, Sheriff? Got some riding to do. This time of night? Julie Fillmore was just here. Oh. Said she saw Hopalong Cassidy and his partner heading for Cranball's Ranch. Well, I thought they'd been scared out of town. We gotta get out there. Oh, sure have. Now go ahead. You follow in about 15 minutes and cover me. Uh, want me to get a posse together? No. We gotta handle this by ourselves. We'll tell everybody about it afterwards. <laughs> Sure, Hoppy. Uh, uh, uh. What's Granboy doing? 
He's standing on a chair, playing with the antlers over the fireplace. Luke, we're not play-acting, California. What was he doing? I tell you, Hoppy, he was playing with the antlers. All right. Now let's ease around to the port. We, uh... On the rush, him, Hoppy. Yeah, you stay behind me. I'll hit the door first. I got you. Your gun, Freddy? Sure are. Here we go. Wait, friend, boss. Uh, Cassidy. Hi, uh, keep him up there. I thought you'd have sense enough to be 30 miles away by now. You were a little too anxious for that to happen, Cranball. And we're going to find out why. Bart. Bart, let me in. Who's there? It's me, the sheriff. Just a minute. When I didn't see any light, I didn't know whether you were here or not. Mm. I think we're in for trouble, Bart. Julie Fillmore told me in town that Cassidy in California was headed this way. Mm. Yeah, and she heard Cassidy say he had proof who killed the bank guard. Maybe he did see me shoot him last night. Mm. And another thing, he might find out we got that bank money hidden behind them antlers over the fireplace. If he does, he's going to go after the U.S. Marshal. We ought to take it to a safer place, Bart. Good idea. We need a light. Well, I reckon we could get it in the dark. No, we'll chance it. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, now I'll just... Don't move yeah, and don't me. reach, Sheriff. California's behind you. How did you get... Drag Cranbo in here, California. I'll hold a gun on the Sheriff. Come on up, Poppy. You talk a lot for a Sheriff. The wrong kind of talk. I didn't do nothing, Cassidy. Bart, Save you... your breath. That gag off and untimed, California. I'm working on him. I thought you boys worked awful smooth together. But let me tell you something. So do California and I. <laughs> of all the dumb fool people I have to get tied but up I with. I thought that he was you, boy. Shut up, both of you. You're going to have a long talk with a U.S. Marshal. And I don't think he's going to like what you'll have to say. Sh- shall I get the money from behind the antlers, Hoppy? Yeah. Might as well take it along. Yeah, this bag's heavy. It should be. Results of three bank robberies in it. All right, march you two, and don't try anything. Drop those guns, both of you. Ha, 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 a boy, mm. Rance. <laughs> Done just like you told me, Sheriff. Well, it puts a shoe on the other foot, huh, Cassidy? Seems that way. Oh, and this is for tying me up twice in the same bed. Why are you hit up here again? Ha, 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 Go ahead if it makes you feel better. Well, what are we going to do, Bart? Shoot him? No, we're going to string him up on the willow down by the spring. Or what will people think? What we want them to. These two are wanted for murder. I caught them snooping around here, sent for you, and we hung them. Sure. <laughs> Rance. Now, I'm glad Cassidy got my brother yesterday instead of you. Good thing I got here in time. Cassidy. And you, you dirty rattlesnake, move. We'll make this as quick and painful as possible. <laughs> Back to Hop Along Cassidy. All right, Sheriff. See, they don't try to get away. Hey, Rance, get a couple of ropes over that lower limb. Yeah, Bart. You got anything to say, Cassidy? It's going to be your last word. Wouldn't do much good to say anything, would it, Cranball? Ain't there nothing we can do, Hoppy? Somebody's coming, Bart. That's just the boys coming back from town. Get on with it. Hoppy. Why, in California. Cranball, how about making a deal? We'll take off and never come back if you'll let us go. <laughs> I knew you'd eat dirt before we finished with you. I mean it. Now, Sheriff, get them on those horses. We're wasting time. All right, mount up there. Hold still, like. Keep these nooses around your neck. You ready, Sheriff? Not quite. Hey, Bart, Sheriff, those ain't the cow hands coming. It's somebody else. What? 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 You're surrounded, Cranball. 
Drop that gun, Sheriff. You won't be needing it now. One of them's getting away. I'll get him, Fillmore. Stop it, California. You all right? Yeah, I'm sure we're all right. Oh. Yeah, sure. I... Grand boss toting your gold, Andrew. Oh, thanks, Hoppy. All right, boys. Take Crambo and the sheriff. The marshal can have him now. Ah, that was a close one, Andrew. Thanks for coming. Oh, don't thank me, Hoppy. Thank Julie. Julie. Yeah. Hello, Hoppy. California. He's the one rounded us up, made us come out here. Ah, <laughs> you got a smart daughter, Andrew. I figured this would require a woman's touch before it was finished. You sure figured right, Miss Julie. How did you happen to come back when I said we wouldn't need you? When I saw the sheriff leave town by himself and ran to follow a few minutes later, well, I got the drift. Well, you proved it once again, Julie. What's that, Mr. Cassidy? <laughs> It's the woman who always has the last word. (laughs) (laughs) Goodbye from Hoppy in California as we bring to an end another thrilling episode. Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulkey. This is the Commodore production. This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com, and we hope you enjoyed. Please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Join in the conversation by going to otrwesterns.com slash Discord. And don't forget to send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. This episode is copyright under the attribution, not commercial, share like copyright. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day, and again, thanks for listening.